Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplus Dehishi, and today we are looking at and talking about Embrace Your Size, My Own Body Positivity by Hera, first published in Japan in 2021. It was translated into English by Athena and Alethea Nibley, with lettering by Chiho Christie, and published by Yen Press in 2022. They've rated this standalone manga T for language, content notes for discussion of eating disorders, diets, weight loss, and the like. Generally known for her illustrations of fat women, on Twitter, Hera was, quote, born in Yamaguchi Prefecture and currently lives in Osaka Prefecture. She graduated from Kyoto Saika University, end quote. Keywords that came to mind include school and media criticism. The summary is, quote, what do you do when your body doesn't match the ideal shape as dictated by society? What do you wear when sweats seem to be the only clothes that fit you? How do you deal with the constant overwhelming waves of criticism about your appearance from yourself and others? A love letter to anyone striving to embrace their size, this wonderfully illustrated uplifting comic essay by a plus size author chronicles her own journey with body positivity, which inspired her to change her mindset and how she learned to love herself as she is. End quote. Looking at the technical aspects of this standalone manga, I would definitely say that the art is by far the strongest part. Cute, dynamic, and fairly diverse models. Even on the writing side, things are technically fine as well. It's a collection of manga essays, so some chapters might work for you better than others, but it keeps things fairly interesting and moving quickly. As far as inclusion went, my expectations of manga is low enough that I was very impressed to see black people included throughout in a way that, as far as I could tell, was not exoticizing or othering. There's also some people in headscarves although Hera's style does not seem to include diverse hair textures. Gender was also a bit one note, but sexuality saw a bit of diversity included. And while I don't feel super great about going negative on someone's journey to self-acceptance, the fat and class politics were distinctly middle of the road, which felt like the weakest point of the collection overall, especially considering that that is the main focus of the collection overall. Wrapping things up, an interesting read with some definite drawbacks, but also very beginner friendly. Three stars. Bye y'all, keep reading and organize to end capitalist depression. And as always, literally graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.